In today's video, we see 50 vendors from the Save Expo in Florida. In the description, I've also included timestamps for each vendor along with different categories that they fit in so that you can find the product you're looking for. And now it's time to hear from our first vendor. Hey, my name is Lewis and Fersha and uh, I own the company called Faster Fleet. Uh, we do multi-tire air systems, uh, two tire, four tire. Uh, you can air up all four tires and air down all four tires all at once. It also helps equalize all tire pressures. We've also uh, made progress with some onboard mounting solutions that I can demonstrate in either in the 4Runner or the Tacoma here. So there's actually two uh, systems I have demoed on my Tacoma here. This one is just a simple onboard manifold mount. Uh, I have the compressor built into the deck system uh, with airline ran to air chucks on either side of the vehicle. And it's as simple as airing down from here. And then when you want to air back up, turning the compressor back on. And then on the side panel, or on the side of the vehicle, I have uh, another onboard manifold with a, a bracket that I call the bed rail mount. Because um, a lot of Tacomas and a lot of uh, you know other trucks in the back of their bed, they'll have bed rails. So it's a bracket that will actually mount either facing inward or outward. So if you have a camper or a canopy uh, with the gold wing doors that flip up, you can go ahead and take your air hose and jack in on either side and from the side you can air down or air back up either my website fasterflate.com and we're on all the social medias uh, at fasterflate my name is rich culture with defiance tools i'm here to show you some of the new products we got this year in store for you so start first with our flat pack grill folds up flat like this made out of stainless steel uses standard charcoal and we've actually give you a fireproof blanket so that's carbon felt put that down so you don't burn your picnic table or anything that's that's on it the grill is on one of our new folding camp tables. So it actually starts like this. That's the size it packs down to. And then to open it up, just pull it up like that. Inside you've got some zippered storage compartments so that opens up. And you've got shelves inside. And then those shelves actually, there's liners for those shelves to give you a little bit of rigidity top is solid bamboo and it'll hold 66 pounds so perfect for black stones or grills or other camp uh, kitchen prep type items and the next item I want to show you is our exhibition gear roll so it's a can either be used as a traditional gear roll or we also show it here as more of a camp kitchen type setup we've got spice pockets you can hold utensils those also become wrench pockets or screwdrivers other little gear and all the pockets are velcroed on so you can take it off rearrange it as you like or if you just want to take one set of tools with you you could just take it and go and rolls up like this makes it super compact and easy to carry so that's some of the new stuff we got for you today and you can find us online at defiancetools.com or you'll see us at different overland and outdoor events uh, throughout the year i am julia with wrap on usa we have two models here to show you today this is the pf1 which is our collapsible version and this is our wt4 trucker which is our automated version both of these toilets use thermo compression to fully heat seal the bags. This one it uses a single load bag. So you manually insert the bag into the clips. And in order to seal it, you pull the lever, which essentially pushes the plastic up against that thermo compression seal to seal it. Once it beeps and you know you're done and it's sealed, you can remove the bag and then you can reload it for the next use. This model is fully collapsible. It folds down and it only weighs 10 pounds and it comes in at 595. This option kind of stays the way it is. It's an aluminum casing, but the legs do fold up and you have a lid and a bottom that go on top of it to kind of make it a little more portable. This one uses a continuous film roll and you get about 50 flushes out of it. So you're gonna load it once every 50 uses. It's going to pull the bag down, seal it, use a little razor blade to slice the bag and then reload it for the next use. And it's all at a click of a flush button. This one comes in at $15.95 because of the internal mechanism. Both units are fully manufactured in Japan and we import them here to the United States. www.raponusa.com. Hi, I'm Lena. Um, I'm one of the co-founders of Becker Supply that I'm here with today. We've got coffee and candles. Um, we mostly focus on t-shirts and apparel and we're an outdoor lifestyle brand. We just want to create products that help inspire others to travel and be outdoors and do the things that my family and I love to do. So the coffee that we have with us is a new product. We just launched it. So we've got two different styles. They're all full, like whole bean that you have to ground fresh, which is really nice at camp in the morning. So that's what we've got here. We've got our candles. We've got four different scents. 
and uh, we create all of those in-house and they're all phenomenal. I just, I love making the candles. I love selling them. So those are great. Um, then we have just can coolers and stickers. I know we love to put our stickers on our coolers and have fun with that and get stuff where we travel. So we love selling those as well. And then we have our apparel, which is really our tried and true products that we sell. My husband's been a screen printer for 13 years and that's the industry that we met in. So we've got some t-shirts here with us today as well. And they're super soft, super comfortable. A lot of people say that the only time they take our shirts off is when they have to put them in the wash. So <laughs> if you wanna follow us, you can come to our Instagram or our website. Our website is beckersupplyco.com. And then our Instagram is just at Becker Supply. My name is Jacob Stanton. I'm with Kuat Racks. I'm here today to show you some of our products. First, we're gonna start with the Piston Pro X. Piston Pro X is integrated to a lights, LED, uh, synchronized with your blinker lights, turn signals. Nice feature about it is that you have a one tap system. Imagine you're holding your bike here, press these buttons, trays open for you, load the bike on quick and easy. We've got Kashima coated piston actuators, fully metal constructed design and uh, yeah, can take a real beating, 67 pounds per bike. On the back of the vehicle, we have our Ibex. The Ibex is available now. The panel kit accessory will be available this spring, allowing you to fully enclose the Ibex. If you want to learn more about our products, you can go to kuat.com and uh, review our products, give us a call. Be more than happy to talk. How's it going, y'all? This is Harrison with Rhino USA. You can find more about our products at rhinousainc.com. We specialize in cargo management, overlanding accessories, and recovery gear. So here's some of our flagship kinetic rope models. This is a 7 8 by 20 foot with a 30,000 pound brake. And then we also have our 1.25 inch by 30 foot, which is currently the largest rope we offer. This is going to be great for RVs or large diesel trucks. And then we make them all the way down to side-by-sides, Jeeps, half-ton pickups, all that good stuff. Uh, one of the major selling points of the kinetic rope is you get elasticity with the recovery so it lessens the shock on the vehicle and leads to a smoother safer uh, recovery situation we've also got snatch blocks and tree savers if you need to do any rigging increase the pulling power of your winch or do a redirected pull if you come down here these are some of our uh, flagship toe strap models we've got the th three inch by 20 foot we've got uh, e-tool d-rings soft shackles emergency tire repair kits. This is a great beginner's kit, or if you just need something to get you out of a sticky situation, it, uh, it's hard to beat something like this. So this is our recovery traction board set. These are a UV stable material with a nylon reinforced fiber in it. So it's very stable in the outdoors. It's gonna last a long time in the elements, even down to below zero. Well, a couple of features about these traction boards, they have an included high lift jack base right here. So you can set this up if you need to do any work on your vehicle. It's gonna be a lot safer than just using it on unlevel ground. They've also got reinforced wheel studs, uh, 270 millimeter mounting holes for industry standard, standard mounting hardware. You can use any of the action tracks or max tracks uh, mounts. And then uh, you can also use the contoured end for a shovel, clear debris before doing the recovery. So these are great for bridging. Uh, if you need to level out a camper or an RV, or of course, if you get your rig stuck and you need to do a quick recovery. Hey guys, Jen from Seasucker. I wanted to take you through some of our products that we have set up here on our Gladiator at the Save Expo in Stark, Florida. So what we're known for, at least in the last decade, has been our vehicle racks. So you can see on top of the Gladiator, we have a vacuum mounted set of crossbars on top holding two bikes. These crossbars are great for anything from obviously bikes, um, you know, luggage storage, um, stand-up paddle boards, surfboards, anything you can think of, all vacuum mounted to your rigs. So you don't have to permanently install brackets or drill holes into your vehicle and, and risk water damage. Another big thing that we're displaying here is obviously all of our other off-road and overlanding vehicle mounts. So you'll see here, Everything on the side of our rig is vacuum mounted, including the sink station, our kitchen station, trash bag holders, cup holders, and kind of everything in between. So if you ever want to install something non-permanently for your off-roading or overlanding vehicle, come to seasucker.com. What's up guys, I'm Miguel from Primo Works and we're showing off our armrests this weekend. So a lot of people when they drive, they rest their arm on this hard piece of plastic. It gets really uncomfortable after a while. So we've made these that doubles the width of the door 
Gives a nice soft pad. You throw it on the door like that, it's ready to rock and roll. So now you've got a nice place to rest your arm as well as a little bit of extra storage. We all know a lot of vehicles struggle with it. So whether you're throwing cell phones or radios and anything like that, but we also have cup holders as well. So if you have a vehicle that only has like two cup holders and you'd like to add some more, this is a great option as well. If you'd like more information about the product, you can visit primaworks.com. That's works with a Z and all of the information's out there and all of our products are on there as well. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Lewis with Inca 4x4 and we're in Atlanta area and we do everything from camper conversions on old Land Rovers. We have our own aluminum camper on a Tundra and we also have a, our product lines which include uh, trail bags and tool bags. This is our Series 2 trail bag. Um, we put a lot of design to this. The main thing with this is it's all PVC, um, so there's no fabric to fade. And we designed it with three compartments. You have your main trash compartment here. You have uh, a compartment here to keep a uh, collapsible fire pit. When you go out west, you can't um, do wood burning fire, so this comes in handy. And then we went a step further and we put a, a place for a collapsible toilet. So we like to keep our iron man collapsible toilet there um, and then it's got a uh, drain holes on the bottom here so anything you spill you could just rinse off and drain out the bottom all right so this is our truck camper uh, our truck campers are all aluminum and they're available for anything from uh, f-150 tundra gladiator tacoma and you could see it lets you basically turn your truck into a camper the panels flip up and you can you know stand up inside of the back of the truck and they come with aluminum uh, molly panels and just everything right out the box uh, with uh, the crossbars the telescoping ladder and um, yeah this right here is our tool bag and we put a lot of design into this uh, we're the only ones that have a built-in magnetic tray and the reason we did that is uh, this here zips away and you can take all these pouches and lay your nuts and bolts here it's happened to me on multiple occasions where I'm working on my vehicle and the nut or bolt just falls into the sand or, or dirt and I can't find it. So that solves that problem. And then you have a really nice uh, tool roll here that you can organize all your sockets, wrenches. Uh, the front of this here is also reflective. So if you're changing a tire or something like that, you could put it out in front of your vehicle and just add that safety feature to it. So this is also available Inca4x4.com all canvas super heavy duty and you can uh, check us out on um, instagram at inca 4x4 our youtube and everything and uh, even on airbnb we do a guided tour if you're ever in the north georgia mountains area we can uh, help you know take you on an epic adventure hey guys i'm peter i'm with front runner outfitters we are a south african based company that manufacture roof rack kits for different type of vehicles so domestic and import vehicles and we do a lot of different accessories for adventures and outdoor equipment uh, specifically to our rockets. We have axe mounts, shovel mounts, kayak mounts, uh, pretty much anything that you can think of when it comes down to the outdoors and the sport industry, we cater to the market. We also have uh, a lot of different type of stoves that we've just brought in from South Africa as well as uh, compact chairs that people love to use and easy to, to put away into tight spots. And we also have really good organization uh, boxes that a lot of people in the overland industry and adventure industry use on a daily. If you need more information, please go visit us at frontrunneroutfitters.com. Hey guys, Blake Harlow with Rhino Rack Corporation and Max Tracks. I want to talk to you about the brand new Max Tracks light board we just debuted and brought to the market here. It's 48% lighter than the standard MK2s. It's a whole new resin material that we're using. This board is only going to come in black, retails at $159.99. You can find that at most local dealers now. Uh, it's available and out to the public. Next thing I want to talk to you guys about is the Rhino Rack Sunseeker awning. This one right here is a 2.0 model that we do. UV protection with ripstop material on the awning. You can add this to 95% of the vehicles out there on the market with our new stow it starter pack system how it's mounted here on the on the truck and then also we have the brand new rhino rack 
no drill platform on the truck as you can see up here this platform is made for your toyotas dodges chevrolets fords anything that has a roof that you cannot drill that has a panoramic roof on it this rack is brand new for 2024 2023 so if you're out and about and you're looking for that product you can find it at rhinorack.com or you can find it at any of our local rhino rack and max tracks dealers how's it going i'm kai with srq fabrications we sell everything mainly for toyotas forerunners and tacomas uh, we also do some Jeep products, mainly armor. Uh, so you can check us out on our website, srqfabrications.com. Right here we have our sixth generation Bronco. Uh, we got our front winch bumper on there. And then on the back we have a dual swing out bumper as well. We also offer sliders and fenders and everything you might need for the Bronco. So come check us out. Uh, we can also see over here, we do some products for the third gen 4Runner. We have a lot of stuff for. Everything from retrofit headlights to corner lights and grills. Uh, we also do full armor for the third gen 4Runner, everything from front bumpers to skid plates and sliders and so on. We also have some TRD grills that are very popular right now. So we offer them with different uh, color options for the emblems. Anything from black to color match, we can all do it all. Uh, here's also our third gen Tacoma. We also offer our bumpers on these and sliders as well as um, grills and headlights and everything. Um, we also offer most of our bumpers as a DIY option. So if you want to save some money on shipping uh, and you have some welding ability, you can build them yourself and get them powder coated however you like in which color. Um, our DIY system is very easy to use. Uh, everything is slotted together so it is a perfect fit. And we'll, you can weld it off of the vehicle and it will still fit perfectly. Hey, my name is Derek and I'm here with uh, Goliath Overload today. So we manufacture overload armor pieces like the front bumpers, uh, rock sliders, roof racks, we don't have one here, but the roof racks skid plates as well as tire carriers and all kinds of accessories for uh, overlanding overall vehicles stuff like that so this is a bumper for a lexus gx 470 but we also make uh, stuff for many different platforms like uh, land rover uh, jeeps uh, lexus toyotas tacomas forerunners all kinds of stuff so we manufacture our products to be as light as possible and as high clean as possible as you can see the welds and everything is very uh, high quality and we are able to also save weight uh, with the per specific design which makes them really a nice option for people that don't want to pull out of weight on their vehicle and still have the protection that's needed. Also nice thing to mention is uh, all our products are uh, made right here in USA in-house by professional welders and everything is made right here in USA. We also own a uh, Overland Outfitters store which is a Goliath Overland Outfitters uh, in New Matilda, Florida and we do pretty much everything from fabrication to uh, installs, parts, accessories, axle work and everything in between. If you want to learn more about our products you can go to our website goliathoffroad.com and we have everything over there. All right, hey, my name is Matthew. I'm with Ford's Motorsport Overland. We're here today at the Save Expo with our beautiful T3 Touareg. So this vehicle here is one of the few vehicles that we have brought along with several other Touaregs. These vehicles are all company cars that we have built, not only for off-roading, for camping and other such things. We've got our beadlock style wheels that you see here, side guards for slides, triple R lighting uh, all within the vehicle, front runner racks uh, using proprietary lift kits. We also make lift kit assemblies and light brackets for Volkswagen Taos, Alltrack, Tiguan, the Atlas models as well, and then lift kits for Touaregs, Cayennes, Q3s, Q5. So we're basically a European-based company within the overlanding market. One of our newest products is the Touareg Cayenne light bar bracket. This is gonna use OEM uh, mounting points, goes straight into the tow hick assembly. We've got a variety of open slots on the bar itself to allow you to do round lights, square lights, or light bars. So it's completely adjustable for your lighting needs. A direct and easy bolt-on can be removed at any point in time and still gives you tow hook capability. If you'd like more details about our company, our website is forgemotorsportoverland.com. See us there. Hey guys, I'm David from Dobinson's. I'm here to show you what we do. Suspension's our game, and we can start off right over here with the IMS coilovers for IFS. Um, this, one's, uh, this display is showing our tubular arms. Uh, this is the MRR with the reservoirs and the adjusters. Here we got a long travel variable rate coil. As you can see, the pitch is a lot less on the bottom part. 
and then we increased pitch on the top on the bottom part of the coil uh, we got an adjustable aluminum steering damper this one's actually for an 80 series uh, we got some cutout shocks so you can see the inside of our ims um, and inside of the reservoir for the mr model here's featuring our 14 inch universal long travel coilovers and uh, hydro bump stops this is what we do we're an australian based company started in 1953 we started bringing the brand over here since 2017 and uh, happy to help you. You can reach out to DobbinsonsUSA.com. Hey, I'm Greg with 74. This is the Ember Grill. It's a stainless steel, 100% stainless steel. It's made in USA. We make everything at our shop in Western Pennsylvania, even our bags made in USA. The reason why we call it the Ember is it produces wood embers really fast. So you put your wood here in a chimney and that flow of air up the chimney is gonna accelerate the burning of that wood so that you have wood embers in about 15 minutes. Once the wood embers start, you just take your rake that we supply with the, the grill, you rake your embers out, cook over the top of them. You also have a griddle if you want to cook with that. Switches out that fast. You also have a top grate. This top grate is so that whenever you get this thing going, you're going to have flames and a lot of heat shooting out the top of this chimney. You can take a pan or a pot of water, whatever, put it up here, boil some water, cook something in a pan, whatever you want to do. It gives you a nice steady platform to do that on. Whenever you're done, you're ready to move on. Pack it up, it's real easy. You take that, use your handle, flip it around. You take your griddle, fits in here, your rake breaks in half and also fits in here. Folds up like that and stores in this bag. Our bag's made in the USA. It's dual layer ballistic nylon with a quarter inch foam pad. Setup's real easy. Just like that, it's ready to go. Uh, the other thing you can do, if you wanna bake something, make a pizza, something like that, the same lid that you use to carry it around, can be used to make this thing just like an oven, wood-fired oven. You get the taste of wood. You can also burn charcoal. Flip your grate over, put it in like this. You want to drop your charcoal in the top, let it pile up down here and light it. That way you still get that airflow coming up underneath the charcoal. About 15 or 20 minutes, that charcoal is ready to go. Take it out, dump it, cook on top of it. So embers in 15 minutes. You don't have to carry around gas. You don't have to carry charcoal. If you can find wood nearby to build a fire, you can cook on this grill. Very portable, packs up in a bag, stainless steel, uh, nothing to wear out on this thing. It's not gonna corrode on you. It's not gonna break. This grill will last you multiple lifetimes. This is something you can give to your grandkids and they can use for their whole life. Uh, we make everything at our shop in Pennsylvania. Everything CNC laser cut, CNC formed, and TIG welded. Uh, if you'd like any more information about it, our website is www. 7-4.us that's the number 7-4.us you can also check us out on instagram facebook social media websites we're on all those uh on on instagram we're 74 grills uh, appreciate the time thanks guys hello everybody my name's tim cantwell with smoking crow this is our compact portable all stainless camp stove this is the only camp stove you're ever going to have to buy this is going to last you a lifetime it's made from all stainless steel comes apart like this the burner and the base are universal. Everything stores inside. And I like to keep my utensils in mine as well. Lock it, you're ready to go. This weighs about 15 pounds. So it's not, it's not a, uh, you know, it's not a light duty product. Like I said, it's a lifetime product. We wanted something, you know, we know, we know overlanders, we know jeepers, we know what they want and they want something that's gonna last rather than buying three or four, you know, inexpensive stoves that you're going to have to replace. Over here, he's parked on one of these. His Jeep is actually parked on, on one of these stoves. So just showing you how rugged they really are. Our website is Smoking Crow 2023. Uh, that's also our Instagram, Smoking Crow 2023. Uh, and we got smokingcrow.store.
What's up y'all? My name is Hope Westall and I am the owner and founder of Alt Route Meals. We do a line of dehydrated meals. So we have two different breakfast options, four different dinner options. I always tell people we're super proud of what's not in our food. So our dehydrated meals are super simple. They're vegetables, grains, spices, that's it. They're all plant-based, they're all dairy-free. Five of the six that we make are gluten-free, so they're really great for people that have food allergies or sensitivities. But after all, we're at now door overlanding event so um, everybody likes to do their cooking thing these make such an excellent base um, so if you want to have a chicken recipe and spice up the veggie fried rice or the thai curry with some chicken that's an amazing one some of our customers do chili cheese dogs exclusively with the chili so that's kind of fun the limits are up to you you know they're they're endless we have a few different products um, our sampler pack is a really fun way to explore the brand it has all six of the meals that we produce and they rehydrate to about a cup, cup and a half of food each. So it's a really fun way to explore the brand, figure out what your favorites are. And then we have them in the bigger ones, single or double serving meals as well. So super great for any type of outdoor adventure. If you're a type of person that's waking up outside, doing a lot of traveling, I always tell people if you can boil water, you can eat well anywhere. You can buy our meals online. We ship them everywhere in the United States so we can get them to you wherever you are and be a part of your adventure. So we have a few different options to get in contact with us. We've got our website, of course, which is just altroutemeals.com. We also have a presence on Facebook and Instagram right now. So if you want to get in touch with us, shoot us a message, send us an email. All of our contact info is on there. And yeah, we'd love to be a part of your next detour. Hey guys, this is Barry with Fire and Ice Outdoors and we're a outdoor camping company and we make handmade knives, bows, slingshots. We make our own fishing poles, but let me just show you one thing that we make here. We make these here. These are handmade lifetime warranty knives. They're Damascus lifetime sharpening. If you ever break any of the handles, we'll replace the handles for you. They come in these rolls like this right here. And if you ever want to grill, you can take the back side of our knives and it'll start a fire for you. So you can reach us at Fire and Ice Outdoors. Uh, we have a YouTube channel. It's got 200,000 subscribers. Uh, we take this stuff and we go on the adventures. Look forward to seeing you guys. Hi, I'm Wes with SHW Off-Road and we specialize in vehicle organization and drawer systems. So what you see here is our most popular seller. It's our ultralight system. It's made of an ultralight plywood that we import. It's the lightest birch plywood in the world. This system does not use runners. It runs on a UHMW slider and has a passive latching, or latching system. So when you go to shut it, it lifts up, locks in, and there are no rattles. We make it to fit most of the popular vehicles. And we also have it in a too high uh, version with a low flat part for a fridge tray. We also offer our drawer systems in our Expedition Series. Now that's gonna have a built-in tilting fridge tray. It's gonna have full extension drawer slides, all the bells and whistles. For the interior of vehicles, for our most popular truck systems and for the most popular SUVs, we offer a seat deletes. We do low and high, and all of our high, we try to incorporate drawers of some sort. That way, when you got everything stacked up on top of the seat delete, you don't have to take it off to get to your stuff below. You just open up your drawer and right there it is. Along the lines of our ultralight series, we're doing the same thing for the interior of all the popular campers. Now, this is an IU cabin and it's our first prototype. We'll also be doing it for Super Pacific, for Dirt Box, for Go Fast. But like the ultralight, no hardware. You can just take the drawer out with you, take it to camp. We have modular drawer systems to where if you have a mix of smaller door, drawers and taller drawers and you can just put them wherever you want. This will also have a full sleeping platform that connects between the two cabinets so not only can you sleep up top but you can have somebody sleep, sleep below as well. So all of our truck bed drawers are made from fiberglass. It's a fiberglass foam composite and they're all on full extension drawer slides, 500 pound rated, locking out. Because it's fiberglass, you don't have to worry about even if you somehow damage the finish. There's no rot, no mildew, no rust. It's got a compression lock system so all your stuff is waterproof and very dust resistant. You can find this and all of our other products at shwoffroad.com. What's up guys? My name's Chad Love. I'm from drawersystems.com in Miami, Florida. Lost my voice a little bit because here at the Save Expo in Stark, Florida, we've been nonstop. The show is absolutely amazing. So many people have just been talking nonstop. So I want to give you a quick tour of our booth uh, with drawer systems here. And we'll start with the van build. I actually did this last year for the show and this started life as a regular 4x4 Sprinter and turned it into a pretty awesome off-road machine. So we can actually start with the back here. My buddy and also customer who hired me to do this, his specific goal was 
power, water, and storage. So we have all the storage for the kitchen stuff back here, easy access to the power, and then we even have a five foot pull out drawer with us. This is a second fridge. So we use this one for like meats and drinks and things like that. Zarge's boxes go here, store all the chairs, everything else. And then put in the bug net and what I call the bed bar. <laughs> so you put your bottles, bookshelf, whatever it is, and just a nice little storage area up here. And then moving on, I do all my drawer systems with Raptor liner. So it's like a textured, uh, bed liner material made for truck beds, so super durable. And then moving on in, the first thing you're gonna see, our buddy Benji over here taking a little nap, so I'll talk a little quieter. And then inside here, designed it around a queen size, full, a queen size residential mattress. So it's kind of a different build where you'll see kind of, you know, this is like an Overland style Snowmaster fridge. We left it exposed and it's all tied down so you don't see anything and then little computer vent fan here to for ventilation did all the wood trim and it has it actually i did i did all of the fabric on the sides here with a uh, a suede headliner material so super soft gives a little transition and then of course we got storage and cool things in there all right so moving on we're going to look at my 2013 land rover lr4 i actually just finished this build for the show and i wanted to do something that was an all-in-one drawer system that literally contains all your needs so you have solar input here your power has a six gallon water tank hidden inside the drawer so behind the drawer, main drawers here there's water there drawer style 40 liter fridge we have the power over here arb air chuck and a quick connect for the water system and then you have pressurized water so you can rinse down dishes or hose down the kids after a day at the beach and then on this side so the idea is that everything has a place for your kitchen. I, I, I design it around, for me personally, around kitchen rather than recovery stuff. And then what we'll do is we'll set this up. So lock in, lock out slides. Take this over here. Put this here. And now I'm ready to, you know, make coffee or make, make, make something to eat at camp. So really easy. And then going to the all-in-one system, if you come around this side, all of the electronics and everything are built into the back of the drawer system itself. And it all, it's two, two cables connected. So I ran power and ground from the vehicle, Anderson plug disconnected. So in 10 minutes, I could take this out if I wanted to get rid of it and use the third row of the seat. So it's all in one. And then to fill the water, you would, I would access this from the other side. You just fill the water from there and you got six gallons always with you. So anyway, that's it. So excited to be here at the show. Thanks for watching. And if you're interested in a, a custom drawer system, check me out, drawersystem.com. I can build them for any vehicle. Uh, and that's it. My name is Dan Byers. We're here helping out Goose Gear with their drawer system. This here is called the Ultimate Chef Kitchen. It includes the pullout here for the fridge. We also have the pullout for the grill. You can obviously do this in different configurations. We went with the Ultimate Chef Kitchen so we could have the grill pull out as well as the drawer pull out. On top here we have uh, locking storage and with the Ultimate Chef Kitchen you actually can put gear on top of the cover for the, for the, uh, for the fridge. Everything is made with uh, Baltic birch, plywood and extruded aluminum built to really last a long time. This here kind of shows you how everything starts with the Goose Gear platform. It starts out with the base plate. Once the base plate is installed, as you will see in this vehicle, this has a full seat delete, which means 40% of the seat and the 60% of the seat have both been removed. That makes either a deck or a sleeping platform from the front to the back. Where the foot wells would be or the extra, the extra voids when you put in the deck, they all have locking storage compartments. So with the full seat delete, you get four locking storage compartments. And that is the basis of the Goose Gear system. If you guys want to find out more, go to goose-gear.com. As soon as the page loads up, you'll have a pull down menu, put all your information in, and we'll tell you what we have available for your vehicle. Hey guys, this is Ben from Trucked. We're out here at the expo this weekend showing off our bed racks. Our bed racks work with um, just about any truck on the market. There's only a couple that we don't work with. Come out to our website, gettruck.com, and we'll, we'll help you find the, the rack for your truck. 
our racks are come in four sizes. They come in a 6, 12, 18, and then what's on my truck over here is a 24 inch rack. They're all modular. They're front to back adjustable, up and down, side to side. You can put molly panels on the side. We have three sizes of molly panel, two links for different length beds, 52 inch length molly panels and 64 inch length molly panels. Um, and the biggest thing about our racks is they're designed to work with tonneau covers. You can find all the info about our, our, our products at gettruck.com and uh, reach out to me there. Hey guys, I'm uh, Travis with Extrusion Overland. We make bed racks for all different trucks. They're totally designed how you want with all different accessories, uh, all different heights. You don't have to settle for just a low, mid or high height. And you can pretty much get it on any pickup truck out there on the market right now with a few exceptions. So this is my personal truck. This is a Jeep Gladiator. So this is an example of one of the lower racks. Mine is a 13 inch height. I wanted to keep my tent when it's closed, even with my roof rack. And that is also the lowest height that you can do and still have the option to have our access gate kit, which is the lift up sides so that you lift up the side and you can access your bed the stuff in your bed with whatever you want. Uh, this is an XTR1. We also have an XTR3 and the difference is XTR1 just has the front and back uprights. XTR3 has the middle and that's the only difference between those two. Um, but you can get it any height you want up to about one to two inches above cab height. Hey what's up guys Carlos here from Inciarte 4x4. I'm with Extrusion Overland Bed Tracks. Uh, this is my 2020 Silverado. Let's just take a look of the new XTR3 Bed Track. You can notice the difference because they have a three uprights that way they can have like a support more weight and also allow you to have a, um, it, it's pretty modular, modular that way they allow you to do a lot of customization and this particular rack uh, the new XCR3 I make a, some different configuration because how is my setup here I have the access gate on the side uh, this access gate they're gonna allow you to reach any anything on the front of the truck and then also you can um, customize the uh, the dimension of that access gate it can be a whole panel it can be just the, uh, on the front part of the bed track here on the back we have um, more accessories. We have the slide out option. You can see here, I have every single one in every, in every bar here, and you can just pull your stuff. That way you don't have to climb on the bed um, of the truck to reach the stuff. These are uh, extrusion overland bed tracks. They are pretty modular and you can custom whatever you want for any truck, any high. I used to have one like a two inches um, lower. Now I'm running a, a higher one. And I also I have the retract system here and the extrusion overland bed track sell mounts for the retract system. That means if you have a cover and you, you know you're a type of person you like to have a cover in, in the bed of your truck, they sell the brackets if you have a jeep if you have a toyota they say the brackets for every single one that way they're going to be on the channel or depend any any truck that way i mean feel free to customize uh, your own the bed track and you can pick any accessories any highs any why and everything and so if you want to see if we have a, a rack for you and what fits your needs just go to extrusionoverland.com and just go through one of the builders and you'll see what's available Hey guys, my name is Rafael. I'm with Tua Pro. We are a bedrock company out of Orlando, Florida, and we got a couple of our racks out here. Um, right now we have on Everest here our Shiprock bed rack height adjustable. Um, it's got three height points. So you got right now on this one, it's 17 inches. And then on his Firefly over here, we have her at 23 inches with the iCamper rooftop tent as well. Our bed racks are modular, so you do have uh, accessibility to be able to adjust your bed rack at height, length, and width. And you can go off-roading, you can still go overlanding with it, and um, it is all steel with a cataphrosis uh, undercoating and also a black powder coating on top. So it's going to be held really well against extreme weather so um, when you're out and about. Also on here we have a Shiprock Chase Rack. It's uh, pretty much the half version of this one, so if you want to get more rugged look, you got that guy over here. And then we got this little guy right over here on our Ford Maverick. It's our prototype for more carrying your bikes, your um, tires, anything you want to carry on it. And yeah, up to 14 plus trucks in the US. So Tacomas, Tundras, F-150s, Rangers, Mavericks, uh, Honda Ridgeline is one of our bigger communities as well. Um, Gladiators, so 
Yeah, it's it fits mostly any 14 trucks up in the U.S. We are on uh, tuapro.com and on Instagram, tuapro. Hey, I'm McCain Henderson with Big Five Overland, and we sell off-road heavy-duty GMRS radios for GMRS. So we have three different sizes. We have our 22-inch, our 30-inch, and our 43-inch. Our 22-inch is 5 dB gain, 30-inch is 5.5 gain, and 43-inch is 6.5 gain. Each antenna comes with its own SMA connector, universal tube mount, spanner, and ready to go with a 16-foot cable, plug and play for any radio you have. We have a website. You can find us at big5overland.com or big5overland on Instagram. Hi, everybody. I'm Stella with Anchor Solix, and we're here at the Safe Expo, that's Southeast Adventure Vehicle Expo today. And at the show, we're showing you some cool stuff that we have. First of all, we have the C1000 unit that we um, brought on this year. And this is a portable power station with 1,056 watt hour. And the cool thing about this is the one of our most compact units. When you look at the volume and the weight to how much power it holds. So this unit also is really powerful. It has 1600 watt of output just in this little body here and also it connects to the solar panels so you can charge it when you're out and about you don't have a power source use the solar panels to recharge it if you need more juice there is a expansion battery that you can add on top of this uh, powerhouse or portable power station and that doubles the power and give you you know more and then we also have a newer model that we just came out with let me show you so this is the c800 plus unit in terms of form factor it's the same as our c1000 we have built in a rechargeable compartment for these rechargeable lights and there are two of them so whenever you're storing these lights it automatically recharges them with the battery that's inside and we have a extendable pole that is built into it so you can have a place to put your light while you're at camp my favorite feature for this number one you can stick on um, any metal surfaces and also of course a tent light when you need it to be right so that is the really cool c800 um, that we're launching really soon so just go to anchor.com or google anchor soul lakes and check us out at the Adventures Assembly. Thank you. Hi everyone, it's Amber here with Nova Lighting and we're here in Stark, Florida. We're showcasing some of our most popular products, so come along. First, we have our Evo light bar. We put a lot of thought into the cut of this bar. Specifically right here, you'll see there's an aerodynamic cut and it eliminates that whistle noise that you'll get with most of the LED light bars. Over here, we have some of our light pods. A really cool feature about this one is you can actually splice them together to make up to a 52 inch light bar. Next, we have our rock lights. These will light up your city trucks, the trails that you're driving on, whatever you need to navigate, this will definitely do the job. So come check us out. Thank you so much. Hey guys, it's Hayden with Backroads Overland Company and Expedition Trailers. Just want to show you guys a little bit about the Zero Breeze AC system here. Uh, this is their Mark II, okay? This AC is gonna bring your ambient temperature down about 15 degrees. So whether you camp in a rooftop tent, enclosed trailer, camper van, truck, doesn't matter, okay? This thing works really, really well. Leave this thing out in the rain, it's waterproof, gonna run the whole time for you. Um, they give you the option to have a battery bank that goes with the AC unit. It's gonna give you a four to five hours of constant runtime, get you up to eight hours in total. And then they've got their elect hive here as well, okay? This power station's super powerful. Anything from hair dryer to running the AC for up to 20 hours, it's awesome. It'll keep you cool. So if you want to contact us, you can get to us at 573-743-3333 or check us out at expeditiontrailersinc.com. Hey, I'm Pete with High Voltage E-Bikes. We're based out of Largo, Florida. We also have a location in Claremont, Florida, as well as Fort Myers. We sell E-Bikes. We also have electric dirt bikes and we have a RC dirt bike also. And these right here are the mock wheels. This is the brand mock wheel right here 20 amp hour battery 750 watt motor hydraulic brakes step through design it does we do have a uh, step over design as well in this model uh, this right here is the uh, obsidian has a thousand watt motor 20 amp hour battery full suspension frame very smooth ride hvebikes.com hello i'm michael davis and i am hard impact designs i'm offering a rooftop tent quick release set so the way it works 
or what the set includes is a lock ball pin, an upper bracket, a lower bracket, and an adapter. The adapter slides down into your rooftop tent rail, and then this is what your uh, upper bracket bolts to, and it stays with your tent. The lower bracket stays bolted to your crossbar, and when you're ready to travel, you just drop your tent on top of the lower, insert your pins, and you're ready to go. It's a very simple solution, easy to use, very durable, uh, and I think it's money well spent. So, Hard Impact Designs, the website is hardimpactdesigns.com, uh, Instagram, Hard Impact Designs, everything is Hard Impact Designs. Thank you. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Grant Foster with Outland Motor Works. And uh, like most vendors at uh, some of these great events, we've got a lot of different things uh, that we have. We have solar and rock lights, uh, but our main bread and butter and what we do is uh, we do tents and awnings, anywhere from a 180 uh, standard eight uh, by eight porch kind of awning, if you just want something simple. And then of course we have hard top and soft top tents. And that's our main uh, thing that we kind of work with and do. And uh, of course we love to get out on the trail as well and test this stuff out. So you can find us on the web at outlandmotorworks.com and also check us out on Facebook and Instagram, same handle, Outland Motorworks. So my name is Ian Franco. I'm from um, Outer Brewer down in Miami, Florida. And we are here with uh, James Baru. Over here, for example, we have the uh, um, James Baru Evasion in XL with the 270 awning and the tunnel. It's pretty unique. James Baru, it's been in the market for the past 60 years. Especially in Europe, James Peru is a, a Portuguese brand. They specialize especially in the uh, fabric. It's an aluminized fabric. Pretty nice, pretty unique, especially for the, the tunnel. That's something unique that, that we offer. Uh, normally our tents can hold up to uh, 120 miles of, of wind. They all come with a solar extractor. So that's pretty nice, especially for the bad smell and moisture a three inch uh, thick mat and they all come inside with a lamp and a flashlight too it's pretty nice they are not heavy at all it's 160. the discovery and the evasion and the grand ray are made out of uh, uh, fiberglass and we have the new new the odyssey it's made out of plastic but it's uh this one has um, a more thick uh, fabric in it. A good thing about the, the Odyssey is, for example, up there we have a channel that, that it's where the, the tunnel is located right now. On that channel we can, especially with uh, small cars, we can um, install an awning with the two legs. For example, if you have a Subaru uh, Crosstrek, it's not that super tall, and with that um, tent, you can use an awning. Um, well, that's basically uh, for a small vehicles. A cool thing about the Odyssey tool is you can install uh, racks on top. The difference uh, besides the, the material on the Odyssey and the Deovation is on the Odyssey you have uh, a more, it's going to be more fresh on the inside because the gray line is lower than the Deovation. So a, a hot temperature is going to be more fresh. So in the shower, uh, cool thing, same thing as a tent, is uh, no aluminized uh, fabric. It has a clear uh, part right here, clear on top if you want to put it. If you don't want to use it, that's okay too. Uh, you can clamp it on the bottom. Over here, you have uh, access to your um, vehicle too, to the interior of the car. So that's a great thing. For example, right here in this setup, we have the water port, so you can take a shower right here. But let's say if you don't have this and you need to have access uh, to the interior for clothing or whatever, or the water port, you still can use the water port inside of the car. So that's pretty unique and pretty awesome. Inside we have some pockets with the uh, soap, shampoo or whatever. And another cool thing about James Baru is normally other brands, they use metal and or aluminum uh, zippers. So at night, if it is too windy, you're gonna hear that clicking noise and it's super no annoying. Um, we use rubber, so it's super quiet at night, especially in windy conditions. If you need any James Baru product, you can contact us at uh, info at or outerbruder.com.
Hey, it's Jen with Bundatech USA. We're at the Save Expo on Saturday. Um, we're just going to show you a little bit of what we've got in the booth to uh, offer to everybody in the overlanding community. So we do rooftop tents, three-sided and two-sided awnings, as well as the new all-in-one expedition trailer. You can find all our information online at bundutechusa.com. We've got two rigs to this weekend that have the Bundu on 360, which is the original awning that they offer. It's three-sided, made out of ripstop material, self-supported. Um, we do have it tied down because Florida is windy. Um, and then the tops of each awnings are also aluminized. So it does in hot days like we had yesterday, it makes it cooler underneath the awning so you can get it out of it. The awnings being three-sided are nice. You can see we've got them um, butted up against each other just to give us extra coverage um, when it does rain so that we don't have to worry about wet spots. And then we have do, said, do have the poles and then I've got a couple of the arms down as well. Behind each awning, you can see the top of the rooftop tent. So that is our, um, both of those are the standard size, which is the smallest, it's 82 by 53. All electric push button operation. So it's four latches and a button to get you ready for camp at night if you pull in late. And then inside each tent is standard with an LED light in the center, charging port, dual USB and 12 volt socket, as well as one fan for air circulation as well. The rain fly that you see deploys and retracts on its own. So again, yesterday when it did rain in the evening, I had my windows open. The rain fly kept it from getting wet on the inside. So super versatile and way easy to use, especially if you're a single traveler. And if you're looking for something to tow, maybe have a more of a family aspect, we do have the Bundu Trail. Um, so that's the newest offering as well. It's an expedition trailer out of South Africa. Comes fully kitted, kitchen servings for six, a uh, pull-out drawer with a six-foot table, dual-zone Snowmaster refrigerator, 18 gallons of fresh water, built-in rooftop tent, just like we sell on the Jeeps or the other vehicles with the roof rack. And then it also has an awning and a privacy room. Nice thing about the Bunda Trail, it does sleep two people, but the roof has the capacity to add another tent on top. So if you do have a family of three or four, you can add another tent on top and be able to sleep everybody in one location uh, without having to worry about ground tents and extra stuff to uh, pick up and put away. Hey guys, I'm Eric Valdez, owner here at Asheville Vehicle Outfitters and AVO Jacks. We're based out of Asheville, North Carolina and Jacksonville, Florida. And we are your Florida four-wheel camper dealers. And so behind me, we've got our Ram with a mid alloy flatbed and four-wheel campers, Hawk flatbed camper and to the right of it we've got the four wheel campers project m topper camper the flatbed camper behind me requires a tray but comes with a sink stove lithium battery standard you can now get 12 volt ac um, they're lightweight all aluminum frame campers that go wherever your truck will go and pop up when you're ready to camp so that uh, you have all that added interior space and can stand up. It can be up to 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six, stand inside those. The Project M's start as low as $11,500 and they mount like a topper but have the same exact pop-up section. And that's been awesome because it's a great, a great platform for DIYers and that want to build out the interior of those things for camping. And then just as quickly during the week, convert it back to regular pickup and put all your stuff for work. So we got a full showroom of the four wheel campers in Jacksonville, Florida, and a full showroom of also all of our alu cab stuff as well. And all the four by four accessories. You got to come check those out if you're around here in Florida um, and check out our full range of four wheels. So if you want to contact us, make sure to uh, visit us online at www.ashevillevehicleoutfitters.com. You can also see us on social media at Asheville Vehicle Outfitters for Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Uh, give us a call at 844-667-3687 if you'd like to give us a call and that'll ring everyone's phone and uh, we'd love an opportunity to work with you down the road. Hey everybody, I'm Jeremy Long from X-Grid Campers. I am here today with the Teton X from Atlas Outdoors. This is an extremely exciting camper. If you've not seen it yet, it's a lightweight camper. You can tow behind, uh, you know, Jeeps and gladiators, uh, but it's also uh, a larger size, which allows you to stand up to put your pants on. That's a criteria for me. And just, uh, you know, have more room for the stuff that we like to carry when we go overlanding, off-roading, camping, or, you know, however you like to adventure so let's take a quick look it's about a 32 to 3500 pound dry trailer uh, depending on how you configure it with options we currently have this one fully loaded it's on 35 inch tires it has their nomad airbag suspension 
It's got 490 watts of solar on the roof, powering 270 amp hour game changer lithium batteries. This thing has a DC to DC charger. It's got air conditioner. It's got heat, hot water, pretty much everything that you can ask for on a camper of this size. The kitchen, the kitchen layout gives you uh, lots of prep space. Uh, you've got the Camp Chef Mountaineer, which gives you two 20,000 BTU burners uh, plumbed directly to propane uh, along with your kitchen sink and the slide out prep space over on the side. And then it's also got a, uh, a separate refrigerator slide that gives you uh, some more storage, drawers, cabinets, as well as a prep table, bamboo for cutting, preparatory, just whatever you can possibly need out of it. Around the front of the trailer, this one has the optional front box storage box. This is, uh, I wish I even knew the volume of this. It's just a massive box for storing. We do have this one equipped with molly panels on the front. It's got molly panels on the inside. It's uh, molly panels on the rear. Uh, so lots of uh, extra place to hang gear while you're actually out on trails. We do have the ARC 750 jack and the DO35 Cruise Master hitch for, uh, for off-roading. It does have a parking brake as well. Moving to the inside, this is where I think this trailer really comes to life. I mean, come on, I'm, I'm, I'm standing up, right? This is, I mean, I'm short. This is a 6.6, six. it's 6.6 six, six up to uh, the Dometic air conditioner. It's a 6.8 total foot ceiling. It's just, uh, you know, hybrid. So you've got uh, pop top in the front, pops in the rear. The living space in here is designed to be highly configurable. It will sleep up to five people in this cabin. You've got a, I'm, I currently have it equipped as a twin. I've been uh, doing some off-roading here in, uh, in Tennessee and Georgia for the last week. So I have it uh, equipped as a twin, but you can pull this out it, and have an east-west queen. You can have a north-south queen, which gives you a little bit of space on each side of the bed. And if you really just want room on the bed, you can slide that over and there's a patch piece that goes on the side that gives you a king in width. We currently have one bunk, but you can add a second 24 inch bunk here. And there's also a 24 inch bunk on the front of the trailer. So that's at least five. One of the things we also like about this camper is, uh, is it camps fast. So when we're out on the highway, we're trying to get to where we're going and we just want to pop in here and use the trailer maybe for sleeping, grab a few snacks. We also have access here when the fridge slide is completely closed and we're all buttoned up, we still have access to our fridge. So, uh, so we can keep a little bit of pantry in here and, uh, and access our cold drinks or whatever. We have a storage uh, shelf up here on the front and, uh, and a lagoon table here for uh, pretty much all our sitting around and uh, working needs. The cabinet here is currently configured with the optional sink and uh, two drawers. This one can be configured in a number of ways. Probably the most popular is a, uh, a hideaway toilet cabinet. So some of just the, the little details that uh, we really like about this camper, you know, you've got uh, all your Truma here, you've got battery monitoring, uh, switches for all your panels conveniently located in one location. This is where you also access the, uh, the air ride, water pump, you've got 12 volt, uh, uh, 12 volt connections here, uh, tank monitors level, the door. If you've ever had an RV, then you know that RV doors kind of, uh, they kind of stink. So uh, we have the Arctic Turn door in here, which gives you the ability to close latch and then secure the door uh, with a compression lock uh, from, uh, from the inside or the outside. It also has these great, uh, uh, the, the great blind here, and which reminds me that you do have a blackout shade and insulation shade that, uh, that you can install all the way around the perimeter of the canvas to keep, uh, uh, to keep the heat or cool in, indoors. This is the Teton X. Uh, come check us out at xgridcampers.com. We're located at both uh, Knoxville, Tennessee, as well as Las Vegas. Come see us.
Hey everybody, Justin Sturgill here with Mission Overland. Today we're going to show you the Trail Dog. Uh, this is a fairly new product for us. It is built on the same platform as our, as our Summit, if you're familiar with that. And But this is great because this is a toy hauler and this is a really versatile unit. So let's get started. Okay, so the Trail Dog Kitchen uh, is a little bit different than our other products. It actually folds down from the sidewall. So let me show you how that works. It's completely built into we have a uh, we have a sink with a folding so faucet, our two burner stove. We have a little bit of flat space on the end, and then when you're finished cooking, the whole thing folds up and locks down. So on our trail dog, because we don't have the rear entrance uh, like our summit, we have a ramp back there for all your toys, which we'll show you. We have a side door entrance. So our side door entrance comes open. It's got a really nice window with a shade on it. So that way you can pull that down for some privacy. Like all of our units, our front storage box has our refrigerator. It's a 69 liter Truma dual zone. So you got a fridge freezer and it's on a uh, 500 pound slide. So you can slide that away when you're not, when it's not in use. Okay. So on the front, you can see we have our full size spare tire mounted to our storage box. We have a well, LP tank on the front. We use 11 pound. Uh, you get one of those with a trailer. And then of course you can always get a second. Uh, that's an option. Uh, we use the max coupler 360 hitch on the front of all of our trailers. Uh, and then we have our single wheel jack uh, to get you moved around and get it off the truck when you're when you're parked. So the other side of the storage box, uh, we have a spot for your battery and all your electronics as you upgrade. And uh, our campers don't come with a battery, but they certainly have plenty of space on the inside to do whatever you choose for your battery options. And then up top, we have a, a tremendous amount of storage up here. So you can put your firewood up here, some storage boxes uh, for all of your gear and whatever else you might want to take with you on your adventure. So we all use OVS products on uh, uh, all of our soft goods on the exterior of the trailer and on this particular trailer we use uh their shower tent but we've done something a little bit different we've actually put this on an arm so it can be swung out and away from the trailer just a little bit and this helps to uh where the tent's not actually resting against the side of the trailer and then we have a uh, on-demand water heater inside of one of our storage boxes it's really easily accessible this unit also has 31 gallons of fresh water Okay, so this is the business end of the trail dog, right? So this is where it all happens. The ramp comes down very easily uh, folded down. It's a lightweight aluminum ramp. And then this is where you can load all your toys for your adventure. So you can see here we got our mountain bikes here, which are great at the shows. Electric, uh, electric bikes, your e-bikes, uh, a couple dirt bikes, an adventure bike, an ATV. Anything that you'd like to put in there. Uh, we've talked to a lot of uh, a lot of folks at the Save Expo here in Florida, and they're really excited about the amazing amount of options that you have on the on the uh, inside of this camper. Okay, so the bottom side of this trailer, you can see that we have quite a little bit. We've actually kind of built this out to where a little bit of a living space here at the show. Um, my wife always takes the the porta potty, which is great, so you can set that on the inside. We built a little table while we were at home for the inside that actually attaches to the e track that we put inside the trailer. You've got a, a tremendous amount of storage in the front and then all of your electronic components in the front. And then there's a little bit of sitting space. So we put a, a chair down here. She can sit and do work, uh, get ready in the morning. And what's great about that is that that transforms into more sleeping uh, if you're not using it for your living space, but you also have sleeping up top. So this unit pops straight up at about 33 inches and then it has a sliding platform um, that is almost the size of a queen bed. It's about 54 inches wide by 77 inches long. It has, uses a two inch foam, uh, high density foam mattress, and it's very, very comfortable. We use a max fan up there to kind of keep the air flowing. There's several windows on all four sides of this uh, tent, and it, it does a, an amazing job. The bed platform slides back and forth in a track so you can access whatever you need to. So you can stand up, you can change in the morning, uh, you can you can jump inside the unit to uh, strap everything down that you're taking all your gear or your bikes um, makes it very, very easy. Okay, so Mission Overland uses a dealer base and we have several dealers across the country. Uh, so make sure that you jump on our website. It's www.missionoverland.ca and check out our, uh, our dealers and uh, give them a call if you're interested in this trailer. You can also find us on all of our social medias, uh, YouTube, TikTok. We've got Instagram and Facebook. Hey, this is Tristan with Cedar Ridge Campers. We're gonna give you a little walk around video of our Vega 2.0. We're gonna start back here with our galley. Full HDP cabinetry. We have the Red Arc system here in the middle. That includes the Red Arc Manager 30 with the total vehicle management system, which is all the fuses and switches. 
You also can run this all through your phone um, via Bluetooth, as well as see the percentages of your battery and water tank. This trailer also comes standard with a 1500 watt Red R converter. On the rear of each of the Vega 2.0 XTs, we got leveling jacks on each corner. We do just a standard tongue type jack. We found this works the best. It doesn't get full of dirt and everything, and you actually can lift the trailer off the ground with it. Uh, we've used to try the this little levelers, the regular RV levelers, but they're just right behind the wheel here and they just get full of dirt. Behind the license plate holder here, there is a gravity feed. Um, this is where you fill your water tank, it's gravity feed. Um, and the water tank capacity on this trailer is about 23 gallons. Mounted on the lid of the Vega 2.0's Gelly, this one has a 150 watt solar panel. Um, it comes standard with a 100 watt light leaf solar panel. Um, and it is also removable, so if you want to remove, if you're not in the sun, you can have a cord and remove your panel off to the side where you can be in the sun. On this side here, we got our stove sink combo. We do, did this one a little different than we did on the original Vega. Um, we got a collapsible base in here, um, so you can remove it. You don't have to worry about draining your water out on the ground or into anything. You could just remove it and take it off um, somewhere and dispose of your water. Got a little utensil drawer down here. And then, as always, we got our Cook Partner 18-inch um, two-burner stove. Moving along down this side, every trailer comes standard with BFG KO2 tires mounted on 16-inch uh, wheels. These are a 265-75 um, R16 tire. Every Vega XT comes standard also with a, a full-size spare. Full steel fenders, rock sliders are all included on the frame. Um, these, you can easily stand on top of these fenders as well as the rock loss sliders are designed to pretty much take on any mounted terrain. You can actually use these rock sliders. They aren't gonna bend or break on you, uh, giving protection to the body. Uh, talking about the body a little bit, this is a full fiberglass composite body. There is no wood used in the Vega 2.0 at all. So nothing to ever rot out or anything like that. Mounted up top is standard on the Vega 2.0 is a roof rack with about a 500 pound capacity. Large Arctic turn doors are also standard on all the Vega 2.0s. We have the one of the largest doors in the industry, um, along with Arctic turn windows, which are insulated and we just absolutely love them. They're also an awning style window, which you can open out so you can have them open while it's raining. Up front here, we have our custom front storage box as this can hold up to about a 60 liter refrigerator. It'll pretty much fit any refrigerator under 60 liters. Slides out on 500 pound drawer slides. Oftentimes people also mount the, the Rome box on top of these. We also can do just a cargo rack or a one up bike rack. Up front on the Vega 2.0 XT, there is a little platform where you can either put an extra bike rack or you can mount stuff like firewood. Included on all the Vega 2.0 XTs is the Cruise Master DO35 articulating coupler with the handbrake so you can lock your brakes while you're at camp so you don't need to wheel, use wheel chocks or anything like that. On the other side here we got the, the ARC off-road jack that comes standard on the XT. On this side, inside the box here, we got our 20 pound propane system and this can either be mounted in the box or up front on the platform. So oftentimes people have been mounting them inside the box. It just fits perfect in there. It also keeps your protein system, regulators and everything um, really clean, going through mud or anything like that. Inside the trailer, there's a full queen size bed. That comes standard, it's an actual queen. So it's 58 wide by 78 long. Uh, we got the Max Air Fan. It's a 10 speed Max Air Fan with the opening cover so that you can have it open while it's raining. Stargazer window comes standard with all of the trailers and it also comes with a, a blackout shade on the Stargazer window. There is also blackout shades on the, the doors as well. HDPE cabinetry on the interior as well. And then we also, what stands apart about our interior is the slat wood look ceiling. Um, it really adds warmth to the cabin, giving it that cozy rustic look inside. Mounted on the side right here is an AC port. Um, that is for a zero breeze or a Eco flow that can sit out here and be piped in through this port. Moving along downside here, we got our shower port. Um, we got an outdoor shower. And I guess maybe when we were talking about the inside, we should have said something about the, the Truma Combi. That is mounted on the inside. It's a, it's a water heater and furnace built into one. So we got a heated cabin inside. 
and then that comes out as plumb to the sink as well as to the shower as far as for the water heating option. So it's always, there's always water right here. And we got a little extra valve right here for your outdoor shower. Moving along down this side here, we got our pantry drawer. And this is how it comes standard configuration on all of the trailers. It's the pantry drawer out the driver's side and then the stove sink combo out the passenger side. That way you can have a shower enclosure here or enclosed awning to have your have privacy for your shower. So I'm Tristan with Cedar Ridge Campers and if you want to reach out to us, you can look us up on cedarridgecampers.com. Um, we got a build page on there. You can build out a trailer or you can also check out our Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube, all at Cedar Ridge Campers. Hey guys, it's Hayden, CEO of Backroads Overland Company out here at uh, the Save Expo 2024. Uh, we've got our 2024 Trail Series trailer. We're gonna run you through it real quick. So first off, we're gonna start with the inside. Whenever you come in here, you've got a very, very spacious cabin area. It's a true queen size mattress, 60 by 80 sleeping area. It's a six inch thick mattress. Um, you've also got your secondary red arc screen in here for easy control for all your dimmable light circuits through the red arc uh, management system there. Um, super spacious interior cabinets as well. You've got your bi-locational TV. So you can lay down at night, turn on some movies during the day, keep the kids occupied. Kind of moving up to the front here. You've got 400 amp hours of lithium power on board. Right here is where all your Red Arc components are stored. You've got 2000 watt inverter, the Red Arc Rogue, Red Arc TVMS, as well as the battery management system. So it gives you the ability to charge while you're driving down the road with DC to DC. You can charge solar uh, and, and obviously just plug the thing in while you're at home. So it works out really, really nice. Right here, you've got some external power ports, 110 and 12 volt. You've got a total of 1110 outlets that you could plug into on this thing so power everywhere super nice storage box up here for anything from lawn chairs to firewood it takes care of a lot of those those odd items that you don't necessarily know where to throw them at throw them in here lock them up you're good to go on the front we've got our arg dolly super nice to be able to move this thing around by yourself uh do35 coupler from cruise master it's full articulation no binding super safe and you got your parking braking integrated into that as well moving around to the side you've got this storage tray here, which is 38 inches deep. We've got an ARB dual compressor mounted on here as long, uh, along with the uh, Apex hose reel. Uh, we've got our ALP Jenny, super nice if you're gonna be on those extended trips and need a quick recharge. Plenty of extra storage space here, be able to mount stuff on your molly panels and things like that. Moving around the side, you've got your dedicated 11 pound propane bottle for your shower, as well as you know our own proprietary mount system there. Your hot water heater enclosure, You've got a really nice hot water heater that provides hot water to your sink as well as it acts as an outdoor shower. An eight by eight Taruka uh, square awning here. So you set that up, throw your walls on, you've got a really, really nice changing area, shower room, things like that. Full size spare, it's on a swing out in the rear. Corner ladder for ease of access to the top of the trailer. Into the galley, you've got awesome, awesome cabinetry, super organized space. Um, and then even in the, in the drawers, you've got these nice foam inserts here as well. So this allows you to be able to put all your pots and pans in place, keep all your groceries where they're supposed to be as you're going down the trail. Um, stainless steel bowl, so uh, cleaning that sink out, super, super easy. National Luna 90 liter dual zone fridge freezer. So anything you're gonna need to take with you, whether it's you or the whole family, you've got plenty of space for that. Back here is your other Red Arc screen. You can control the whole trailer from this one or the other, as well as your phone. So connect that up, super easy. You got your Midland 50 watt GMRS radio on board as well. That's a bi-locational, so you can use that at the rear of the trailer or plug it in on the side of the trailer if everybody's kind of congregated that way. Another 110 outlet back here as well. You've got your built-in USB and USB type C ports. We've got custom powder coated wood feature uh, tabletops here. So those are gonna be things that you do not see anywhere else. Nobody's offering that. We've, we've got a very special system that we go through in order to, to kind of provide that extra character. It makes it feel a little bit more like home. Gas stove of your choice. We're gonna throw in uh, a gas stove that you choose whenever you order a trailer with us, um, whether that be a cook partner, um, KDIC, doesn't matter. We're gonna hook you up. Swing outdoor, locks in place. So whenever you're setting up camp, super easy. You just go in, you lock the pin in there. Doesn't matter the winds. It's gonna hold up really, really well. Um, kind of covering up the kitchen and the side of the, the trailer here, we've got a Turuka 270. Uh, this is the uh, extreme darkness. And this also has a wall kit you can throw on this. You can enclose the entire footprint in this trailer if you feel necessary. All around, when it comes to just leveling this thing out, being able to get you know nice and sturdy at camp, we've got the arc four corner uh, lifting jacks. So if you actually have to lift this thing up to get it level, change the spare, doesn't matter. Uh, you're able to do that with those with these. As you can see, we've got that TV mounted up on the side here as well. Really nice entertainment system. So that way you can kind of throw that back and forth throughout the day. 
But uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free. Check us out online, backroadsoverlandco.com. Check us out at expeditiontrailers.com as well. Shop phone number is 573-743-3333. Thanks, we'll see you. I'm Michael here with Vintage Trailer Works, and we have an XTR here today. So with an XTR, you do get uh, the base of it, it being a two by three steel tube frame with these fenders that are welded into it. So complete stand on fenders that you can you know, load up with gear, you can get on top, do whatever you need to up on your roof rack. It is a wood construction, so the, wall, the walls are solid three quarter inch plywood with an aluminum on the outside. These roof racks are near about as sturdy as you can make a roof rack. So they're gonna support 800 pounds stationary, what we rate them for. Right now we do have the Overland Vehicle System awning on it, an eight foot awning, but we can do a 180 awning. So the back is kind of where we lay our kitchen out. We'd have a sink with 10 gallons of water storage. All your electrical is gonna be down here. A slide for your cooler. That can be an electric cooler. We have a plug here for already for it. And then plenty of cabinetry with pass-throughs on the bottom. Inside, you do get a queen-size mattress that folds up into a couch. Plenty of headroom inside with the same cabinetry. 12-volt plugs, 120-volt plugs, a roof vent that goes multi-directional exhaust or intake and uh, has a rain sensor, so it'll automatically close up like it did last night when it rained on us. And then just towards the front is a nice little storage rack up here that you can load up with all kind of gear. It's just an expanded metal storage rack so you can run straps through it and strap up anything you want, roll your bikes on it some some cargo boxes anything at all and then just the front box where the battery and solar is it's a 30 amp solar controller and that is near about it except for maybe our stargazer window that's a polycarbonate instead of glass so uh, we actually had a hailstorm go through in january where our shop is and every single one of these stargazer glass windows survived because it's polycarbonate and i want to say that's about it for this trailer it's vintage trailerworksinc.com hey i'm joey and i'm the owner of Athens Overland, and this is our Sparrow camper trailer. The cabin feels more like a home. It's kind of got kind of got a high-end residential feel. It has more headroom, and it's got a very large entry door, so it's comfortable to get in and out of. And the mattress configures as a bed or as this uh, as a couch. And that little table over here picks up and relocates, so you can sit with a laptop and a cup of coffee or watch a movie. We have air conditioning, a zero breeze air conditioner, storage all around up top. All the lights are warm and dimmable and on the porch lights as well. Bare tire, molly panel, rock, rock guards and uh, stand on fenders. And coming back to the kitchen, we're all electric. So there's a induction cooktop, Dometic 60 liter fridge, all the cabinets lock in lighting everywhere in the cabinets, under the cabinets. And we have this giant pass-through, um, which is really nice because you can kind of hang out with somebody inside while you're in the galley. And the, obviously the hatch becomes an instant awning. So once you open the galley, you've got a, an awning already set up. And because we're all solar and we want you to be able to use everything off grid, we have 820 watts of solar on the roof. So we've got two 410 watt modules on the roof and there's also deployable solar. So you, uh, we have another charge controller so you can add solar on the ground. So we're sitting there at the show rocking over a kilowatt of solar. In our tongue box, we have um, storage up top as the back end of the Zero Breeze air conditioner. It's all actively ventilated on a thermostat so it senses the heat. If the Zero Breeze turns on, it, it exhausts the, the heat out out the other fan. On the lower part of the tongue box is our electrical system. We have a ginormous 5kW battery and we put all of our electrical components in this kind of glorified milk carton with a, a quick disconnect front and back so it's easy to access and easy to work on. And in the front there is uh, shore power just like any RV so you can plug in and, and charge that way as well. We're at www.athensoverland.com. We're also on uh, Instagram and Facebook. So uh, yeah, please check us out. Thanks so much. Hi, how you doing? I'm Brad. I'm one of the co-owners and designers of One Back Camper. Um, we build these out of uh, Roanoke, Virginia. So we have the outside kitchen. We have a Countertop. This can also be lowered down to a table. 
Right here we're running the Medic fridge, but we can run different brands. This is a CFX 75. We have storage here. So here we just keep our cutlery and cooking tools. And over here we have our pots and pans and stuff. Over on the other side, we have food. On this side here, we have induction cooktops. We're running the Red Axe system. It works really well with these things. And on the other side, we have um, two drop down sinks with hot and cold running water. It's really compact. It just slides in real quickly, comes out quickly. It's really nice. We love it. So it weighs about 2,800 pounds, depending on options. Um, it's a full composite construction with the exterior walls, envelope, but we have the plywood on the inside because we really like the plywood, we like the smell, we like how it feels. So the bed is a queen size mattress. It's four and a half inches thick, so nice and comfy. The bed folds out over the dinette. As you can see, the bed is already made. There's two compartments up at the top where you can uh, stow your pillows and stow any other thing you might want, like a phone or a book or something like that. We've got two reading lights up at the front with USB points, uh, and you can also see the top of the air conditioner there. Nice window above the bed gives you a great view of the sky at nighttime. When you're ready to close up the bed, you just strap it in. Easily folds back over, and you can actually access the kitchen from inside the camper. So you pull up on the bed. Now you can access all of your fridge and all of your storage compartments as well. The stoves actually pop through this door down here. So you can grab your stove top and you can put it on the counter at the back. So the shower door actually has an extra panel. So it can clip in here on a little magnet and just give you some separation between the two areas. Also has a panel here. So I'm going to step inside so you can see how it works. So as you can see, the shower door tips out at the top gives you room in your shoulders when you're showering so you have that extra space. So back here we have the sink, uh, which is the only thing you don't can't access from the fridge slide. This is all storage from down here. So we've got three storage spaces uh, here. This compartment here is accessible from inside and outside the camper, as is the long storage down here, which runs the full width of the camper. You have a door that slides back here. And your counter space goes back to the outside wall. And you also have a big drawer up here so you can store whatever you need to up top. So we have all of the gauges here that you would need to see. The backbone of the camper is the Red Arc Red Vision system. So this is your display here. It tells you how the battery is doing, how much solar you're pulling in, and you can also turn lights on and off uh, from that. Next you have the sea level monitor. That's for your water tanks. Um, tells you how much full your water tanks are. Dometic furnace and also the hot water heater as well. 110 outlets throughout the camper which work on shore power or on the inverter and then we have USB points and DC power points throughout the camper as well. So our website is wombatcamper.com. You can also find us on Facebook and on Instagram. Facebook, Wombat Camper. Instagram is wombatcamper underscore. Hi, I'm uh, Scott Rowan with Rock Trailers, and this is our uh, new model, the ALD09. And um, this, this trailer, uh, we introduced it last year. It's a uh, fiberglass uh, reinforced composite shell. We have a full rock slider frame. We have um, axle suspension, and we're using the Flexi Ride because it's, uh, it's adjustable. The um, mattress is a queen size mattress. You, you can buy it as a base uh, trailer with just sleeping compartment and then you can option it up however you want to. So this one has a lot of the options. It has the uh, deployable table, the full galley, molly racks, um, rooftop tent, 270 awning, AC, um, air conditioning, and onboard water. So pretty much everything you'd, you could want in a camper we've got uh, here. And again, you can, you can buy whatever options you want there. Comes in different colors. Um, we have different um, graphics in different colors or solid colors. Typically we put the method wheels on, on it. We use uh, lock and roll couplings. Also rooftop vent um, is, not, is unimpeded by the, uh, the load rack on top. So we have sink here, space to uh, store the cooktop here so you can take it out, put it on the countertop, put it on the table. 
also, like I said, we have we have water, we have um, a shore power hookup here, deployable solar panel here, so you can pull this off, set it off in the sun. We also offer a um, the Julka tent with a portable fold-up uh, toilet with a self-sealing bags, and it actually fits in the front um, of the tongue box. So you don't have to store it with the rest of your stuff. And we're based out of Atlanta, Georgia, and we do make uh, the shell, we make the frame, make a lot of the uh, the brackets and ladder and whatnot in-house. Rock Trailers, R-O-C Trailers.com. Hey guys, it's Hayden with Expedition Trailers out here. I want to go over the 2024 Outback Kayak XL. Starting off, this is going to be a true multi-sport trailer. Okay, so whether you're hauling side-by-sides, jet skis, boats, kayaks, canoes, it's going to do it all for you, all right? Super modular. You can start with just the basic trailer and build it as you go, or you can do it all right from the rip. It's a good, good base. Up here, we've got our rooftop tent, so wherever you're going to take this thing, it's nice and comfortable, okay? You throw the uh, Zero Breeze portable AC on there, go camp in the summertime, keeps you real, real cool. Moving over here, you've got your different charge ports, all your Red Arc. Uh, we've got the Rogue and Manager 30 on board to control all of the features that this thing has to offer, uh, as well as maintain that battery. Uh, it's a 100 amp hour lithium battery from Enduro Power. Um, we've got the Noco Genius uh, over here for charging up the batteries that are going to be on your boat. Really, really simple just to load your boat, plug it in, forget about it. Moving back, you can see that we've just got a ton of storage, plenty of power. You've got exterior power, interior power. You've got your work lights, the Trexel here to store all your fly rods. And back here, you can kind of see where this is this kind of your cargo area, whether you're hauling coolers, uh, dirt bikes, side by sides, or in this case, a, a boat of some sort, it works really, really well. Timber and suspension on this thing, so you can run up to a 42 inch mud tire. It's gonna keep you up off the ground and be able to get back in those trails further than you can with anything else. And it rides extremely well, even on the highway. Over here, we've got the Taruka 270 Extreme Darkness. So this thing is awesome for being able to just kind of set up a little bit of a camp, Gives you some extra light in here to work with at night. We've got the National Luna lights built into the boxes here as well. So anything you have stored in here, you've got plenty of visible lights. White, amber, dimmable works out really, really well. This lift bracket, this allows your awning to actually come down when it's not in use. It keeps that center of gravity really, really low. So no matter what vehicle you're towing with, whether it's a Subaru or a Ford F-250, it tows extremely well. You've got some of these a little bit more of a a homey feel to some of these features here that we could do with wood grain texture. This is all aluminum. It's a powder coat process that we do in order to get that look. So any kind of texture, color, whatever you dream, we'll do it for you. The wheels and tires, we're gonna throw you some, uh, you know, aluminum alloy wheels on there, mud tires, straight from the factory. This thing's well equipped. It's gonna do anything you need it to do. So if you guys wanna learn more about the trailer, feel free, look us up online, expeditiontrailersinc.com, or just give us a call, 573-743-3333. We'll see you on the trail. Hey everybody, my name is Joe from Tiny Camper Company. We're from Claremont, Florida. We build a lot of off-road trailers. Uh, we're very known in the industry for using no wood, all composite material. Let's check it out. So what we have here is our brand new camper. It's called the Cube Series. It's a four by four by four that completely slides out to a four by eight sleeping area. Now, many people do ask, you know, does, does it feel like a coffin? Is it very small, claustrophobic? No, it's very spacious inside. The purpose of us building this brand new unit was very simple to kind of go down the trails, to get in some really tight spots like the Georgia Traverse or the Fat Trail, or even uh, the Scar Trail in South Carolina. So this new series, is a brand new Cube Series. It's off-roading capabilities, independent suspension, 31 inch tires. So the great thing about the Cube Series, it only weighs about 620 pounds. Majority of the weight are actually in the tires, uh, as well as the front part of the box. But these drawer sliders actually run on a thousand pound slider. So there's four of them total, with a total weight of a thousand pounds. Hey everybody, my name is Mike and I'm in here with Turnoverland. So this is our Wildlands door. Our wild lens door has a few different features in it that we think is kind of key to a door itself. Number one is security. So we have three points of lock on this door as compared to most have one. Our door also separates into two pieces, giving you a nice fine bug mesh on the outside and a nice steel screen on the inside. That's to prevent any kids or dogs or just pets from getting at your nice sensitive bug screen. Our doors are also optioned with an insulation curtain to help insulate your door. And if you notice, the locking barrel stays with the screen part of the door. That way you can keep the door locked while you're sleeping and have some nice airflow overnight while still being safe in your camper. All of our windows are a dual pane acrylic. That dual pane really gives you a nice insulation barrier between the two panes. All windows have multiple locking handles and they all have three positions of opening. Each click is a detent. Each detent is a locked position for the window to open up to. 
When you're done, you overextend the window, come back in and lock them into place. Each window also comes with an integrated blind and screen assembly. The blind and screen comes down and connects to each other as well as works independently of one another. The windows also have an intermittent locking position. That way you can still get some airflow rolling through your camper, but the windows are locked and secured. This is our roof hatch. Uh, this roof hatch is large enough for you to get in and out of, so you can access your roof if you'd like. It has an integrated LED system on all four corners. And the roof hatch does have an electronic switch to open and close. We do have a deluxe model that actually will sense rain and auto close on itself. This is the non-deluxe model. Each roof hatch does have a screen as well as a blind attached. They can also be worked independently of one another. And our last component is our cargo door. These are sweet. They have three different seals, so they really make sure no dust or water is getting in there. The biggest thing on this door is our handle. It has what we call a 180 latch. When you turn that latch 180, the actual clamp squeezes the door up on itself, compressing all your seals and really making sure you don't get any dust or water in your door. If you're interested in any of our products, go ahead and head over to our website, turnoverland.com. Hello, this is Billy Dukes from Cougar Bush Campers. We're here showcasing our four separate trailers. What we have right here is our smaller Springbok. So this is uh, our little bitty camper that can be towed with a Jeep or any kind of Toyota. It's a pop-up tent that has plenty of room inside. It's about 18 inches of uh, clearance from the ground. Can pretty much go anywhere that you want to go. So the weight on this is 2,200 pounds. So it is very light. And as I mentioned, it can be towed by a Jeep or any kind of four runner any kind of Toyota, uh, Tacoma. And it also has features of uh, air conditioner, heater, also has a TV inside, can sleep four uh, comfortably. It also has a uh, outdoor kitchen on the backside that is powered by propane. Uh, we have a battery, uh, solar capable, and refrigerator that is, uh, that is an option as well. So this is, this is our spring block. So this is our Kudu camper from Cougar Bush Campers. This one is about 4,700 pounds, has the outside kitchen powered by propane. We also have a electric refrigerator here that keeps everything very, very cool. Also inside, this one is a pop-up style camper. You press a button, it goes up, press a button, it goes down, which makes it very easy to pull, makes it very fun and, uh, and exciting. And it also gives you a ton of extra room inside. Another big feature of this one is also our outside shower. It is very large and we also have indoor outdoor showers on every single one of our campers. This is our Warthog with Cougar Bush Campers. So this one is our toy hauler. It's got the dual axle and it's got the outside kitchen, pull out cooler and everything. But this one will also, uh, this one sleeps six comfortably will fold out to, to allow you to bring your dirt bike or your uh, small ATV. Um, this one's been a big hit with the, uh, with the awning and you have a big bed up front, four bunks in the back that fold up, then turn into your toy hauler that you can put whatever you need to in there. Again, each one of our campers has a indoor and outdoor shower. So with the cassette toilet inside, the water capacity on this is about 50 gallons with two separate 25 gallon tanks. The weight on this one is about 5,700 pounds. So uh, you will need a larger truck, um, not necessarily a Jeep or anything, but just to give you a frame of reference, we are pulling these with our Porsche Cayennes um, and with, we are having no troubles at all. This is our wildebeest camper. This is kind of the family oriented camera or camper, I'm sorry. Uh, we have a dual bunks up front, a big old dining kitchen area that then converts into a uh, queen size bed in the back. All of our campers, again, have indoor, outdoor showers. This one has a outdoor kitchen as well that can be powered by propane or natural gas. This one is uh, weighted at about 5,700 pounds as well. So you will need a little bit larger truck. The little Toyotas and the Jeeps will not be able to pull it, but anything a little bit heavier than that can. This one's also been a big hit with us because of the lighting inside as well. It's just fantastic trailer that that really can fit a family of uh, five easily. Feel free to reach out to us on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, or anything. But if you're interested in reaching out to me, go to uh, KrugerBushCampers.com 
or feel free to give me a call at 478-960-2232. Hi, I'm Justin Shadz with Runaway Campers. We're going to take you around and show you all of the models that we offer. Over here we have our Ventress XS. It's the smallest unit that we offer. It's just a rooftop tent model. You have storage in the bottom half. On this unit we have a slide out fridge and a battery system on the other side. It's got the spare tire and a 23-0 tent on top. And this can be optioned out a handful of different ways. And then the starting price for that is $78.45. Right here behind me, we have the 6x8 Ventress, which is our larger off-road unit that we offer. It's a sleep-in cabin, AC, has full independent suspension, a tongue that goes full through, the, uh, the fenders you can stand on, 33-inch BFG tires, electric brakes are all standard offerings. This unit has the batwing awning, roof rack, and a propane tank added to it, as well as the rear door. This unit right here is our Rouser. It kind of, it's our largest unit that we actually offer in all of our ranges, but it's more of our, our road unit. It's a stand up inside, so you have about a six foot interior. So you can walk in and stand up. Screen door, window in the door, two windows that slide open. This unit has a propane tank and a roof rack added to it as well. It starts at 9220. Um, again, that's the largest unit we have. Over here in the front, we have the smallest unit, again, for a road model, which is a 4x8. It's a, called the Cool Camp. This has a roof rack added to it. Starting price of that is $59.95. And then you kind of go back up to the 6x8, which is right here, called the Range Runner. That unit is going to be 6 foot wide, 8 foot long, uh, sleep-in cabin. But again, the Range Runner's more towards our, our on-road friendly units versus our Ventress models or all off-road units. If you want to learn more, you can find us at runawaycampers.com and see all the models that we offer and all the different options and pricing. Hey, this is Jeff with Phantom Teardrops. This camper here is our XT model. Uh, it's got a uh, bunk in the front here. This is uh, 12 foot long. The trailer is 16 foot. So uh, this has got your off-road wheel package, uh, 45 degree torsion. It's uh, bronze colored with a diamond plate on it around the bottom. And then on the back here, the, the galley has got your stainless steel and uh, the hot water heater and everything. And this is our premium uh, model. It's a little bit shorter, it's 10 foot. The trailer is uh, 14 foot. It's got your stove and uh, everything in the galley. If you wanna get for more information, go to uh, phantomteardrops.com and uh, go check us out. I'm Bob with Hiker Trailers. This is our 5x9 Extreme Off-Road trailer. It's put on a spring suspension system. You can get it with an airbag suspension also. This is our trailer that will go anywhere your vehicle will go. As you can see, we equip it, typical teardrop fashion, to sleep inside. We can accommodate anything you want as far as accessories. The benefit of a Hiker Trailer is we provide a high quality trailer at affordable price and we are customizable to your type of camping. So as you can see on this model, anything from awnings, roof racks, solar panels, 12 volt refrigerators, tables, various selection of battery systems or power supplies you can put on this. Equipped with solar, we operate off of shore power this model's equipped with a water tank underneath, so on the other side you'll see that we have a hot water shower. We can equip them with air conditioners rooftop. We can equip them with propane 12 volt heating systems. So this trailer can do just about anything you want it to do. Uh, it comes in a eight and a nine foot version. Uh, current lead times are about 60 days. All of our trailers are made in Columbus, Indiana. Uh, handcrafted by our folks there. Anything you want to do, we love to talk to you about your camping needs and equip the trailer to suit your type of camping that you do and the terrain you do, also with the number of people you do. We have options for rooftop tents also. So quite a lot of features to see on this thing. This is one of our setups for the back alley in the hiker trailer. So you don't cook in a hiker trailer. Generally, you'll put a table out here or cook on the side table. So this is where you store your provisions. We try to make it handy. As you can see, we have a slide out table as an option on there. We have some storage drawers. We also have two shelves in here. We can split the shelf so that you can access part of it inside for storage for clothing. There are pass through doors also so you can get stuff from the back while you're in the trailer. In the back of the galley is usually where we'll put your power system. 
So in this case, you can see we have a Goal Zero 1500 in here. Uh, we also put in other various batteries depending on the customer's desire of what they want to do. All of our power systems on your trailer are recharged by the shore power plug, which we have on the other side. We'll show you in a minute. So the galleys can be configured for your specific needs. This model, we have our spare tire on our swing arm on the back so that your spare is accessible from the back. We also have the hot water shower on this one. So you get on-demand hot water from the 20 ounce tank that's underneath, propane operated, pretty convenient. We have a shower enclosure also. You pop this out so you have privacy no matter where you're at. You could take a shower right here at the show, but we make this as convenient as possible. We have other awning options where you can also put an awning extend it here over your door, enclosed with walls, so you in essence have an annex to your trailer. You can get out of your trailer, you can stand up, you can change clothes, you can walk into your shower, back into your annex, back into your trailer. So again, we like to talk to you and understand what you're using your trailer for and put the options on that suit your needs. On this trailer, we have a flexible solar mount panel on top. So you are actually charging your battery while the camper is setting out, while you're driving, etc. We have a couple of different options of solar panels. Again, we like to talk about your needs, how far you're going to be off grid, how long. We can put 90 watts, we can put 200 watts. We have a multiple options on uh, foldable solar panels too, portable ones, which you can use in conjunction with this to keep your trailer powered as long as you're off grid. On this model, we also have our fridge box with a Truma 12 volt cooler on it. Um, slides in and out, keeps everything cold. You can connect it wirelessly, Bluetooth to see what the temperature is. And in this system, we have a battery up front and we have the Goal Zero in the back. So we have dual power supplies. We have the ability to switch from one to the other. So if you're gonna take your Goal Zero out for some other purpose, you can run off the battery, or if you are extended in a cloudy day, the battery gets low, you can flip it over and you have the assurance and comfort of your Goal Zero or your power center in the back to get you that extra few days while you're off grid. So again, this is the basic run through of the Hiker trailer. This is one of our four models and they come in various links. I suggest check us out at hikertrailers.com we love to talk to you, understand what your needs are, and recommend the best model trailer for you. Thank you.